Well, we have uh, we have our four captains selected and voted by, by the team members, and so uh, our four captains, two on on offense, will be uh, Tijon Karoma and Tanner Mangum, and then on defense, Fred Warner and Butch Pau. So those are be our captains for for the season, and uh, it was uh, voted on by by the players on the team, and really happy that those guys are be able to take the uh, the role of captains. We we had a lot of great people that are going to um, make up our leadership council, but uh, those are the four that got the most votes. So, any questions? What additional responsibilities do they have as captains? A lot. We probably can't name them all right now, but um, I mean, I, I'm big on the players running the team and having a say in a lot of different things. But um, so they'll be meeting with me uh, quite a bit, and I'll be meeting with the leadership council, and uh, we'll, 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 you know, make some decisions on activities. A lot of different things that we. Uh, we will try to structure, uh, let them have a, uh, they'll have a voice. They won't be the ones making all the decisions, but there's a lot of things that, that I think that they, they should be able to voice their opinions. Were those the four guys you were hoping that the team would vote for? Uh, that's kind of what I thought was going to happen. You know, I, I, we have, there's a lot of others that got a lot of votes, but um, we have good leadership on this team. And so I think there's a good dozen guys that got votes, that, that, um, but those are the four that got the majority of them. Yeah, McChesney suffered an injury. I don't know what the reports were. Is that what you guys heard too? So, um, yeah, I mean, I I think it's probably doesn't look too good for him with with, his, with the the injury. But uh, he's doing great. He was having having a great camp, and it's one of the unfortunate parts of the game. And um, you know, and, uh, it was just a yeah, it's just a sad part. I'd hate to lose a, a guy that was you know on our two deep at, at corner. Fans look at sacks as kind of a measuring stick for the defensive line. What do the coaches use to, see, to figure out if the defensive line is being effective? Well, I think disrupting plays and creating turnovers, you know. Um, uh, I think sometimes sacks, uh, that, that has a lot to do with it. So it's more sacks, turnovers, and um, creating mental errors. I, th I think that, that would be the indicator if your defense is doing a good job. And I think we did, we did a good, good job of creating turnovers. I don't know if we did. Uh, good enough with our sacks, but there's ways to get pressure on quarterbacks, and uh, I think I think our guys did that. I think um, our technique's getting better, and hopefully we can work on our pass rushing skills. And um, you know, but our our goal is to stop the run and, and be a balanced defense and, and stop the run and the pass. And uh, I think we did a good job with that. I think having Sione back as a pass rusher helps us, but also Corbin's feeling feeling comfortable as a DN now. And so uh, I think I think being the second year in the system, it should. Get the numbers up. I know you're, it's early, but do you foresee a rotation of what eight guys in the line, 10, 12? Did you really nail that down yet? Yeah, we'll play whoever's ready, right? I mean, I, I think that uh, we're rotating a lot now because we're trying to get competition. But I think uh, talent-wise, there's enough to run with a with a with a lot of guys. I mean, we we could go two, three deep. It's just a matter of if we feel comfortable with them in the game. And so the talent's there. We just got to put it all together and make sure they understand the scheme and and that they're doing the technique that we're asking them to do. With Austin likely out, who are the next cornerbacks kind of vying to be in that 2D? Well, I, I know um, Trey's done a good job, Travion and Isaiah Armstrong's done a good job. And so, um, you know, Chris Wilcox is battling actually with those other two, with Diane and Troy uh, with the ones. But uh, there's, there's good players. Mike Shelton's there too. Um, so I'm probably forgetting a couple guys, but I have, we still feel comfortable with our depth there at corner. And uh, you know, having re the two returning starters helps, and having Chris Wilcox has had some experience as well. Those three helps us as well. And then we have also have Micah Hanneman that can move the corner if we need him to. But right now we're trying to get the other guys to step up, and they're they're doing a good job with the, with the reps that they're getting. D'Lo and uh, Keenan, those guys are doing a good job. With Wilcox kind of pushing the the ones, could you see a situation where? Warner maybe goes, or one of those guys in the ones goes to safety? We'll see. I don't know. There's a lot of really good safety competition going on, too. So yeah. it's a good problem to have. We have a lot of good, capable defensive backs, and uh, we'll get the best four out there. And, and uh, if that means changing you know, positions here and there, we'll do that later and we'll get closer to the game. Right now, we're trying to compete and trying to get the starters set first before we uh, work on the depth. Yeah, although the talent's there. Any other questions? What are you looking forward to tonight with having a walkthrough? Um, just to get prepped for the scrimmaging stuff tomorrow. I mean, we, we're going to do a, a, a 
big part of our practice tomorrow is going to be live, and so uh, we want to keep our guys fresh. We're going to have a full lift today and kind of have a, a mental walkthrough for our for everything tomorrow going into like game mode, you know. So um, it won't be a game, but it'll be tons of reps, and I think our guys will have a lot of opportunities to to you know make some plays and maybe climb the depth chart, and we'll kind of have more of an idea of what our depth chart will look like after tomorrow. Have you seen the running backs make strides now that the pads are on? Yeah, I mean, that's, I think, it, and tomorrow when we're going to see guys break tackles, you know, and, and see linebackers and safeties and defensive linemen make tackles as well. So I think it's going to kind of sort it out a little bit, you know. Um, right now we're going off of everything but that. So for guys that are bigger and um, that rely on that as part of their, their game, I think this is the time for them to show tomorrow.